Maranatha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another Quick Bite, Living the Word. Today our words are going to come from Romans chapter 8. And I was actually inspired a little bit last night, I thought, as Brother uh, Sinski was preaching. And uh, I was just thinking about <clears throat> this passage he went to. And then uh, the Lord brought a, a, another passage in which the Lord Jesus Christ him tells, us, tells us something that reminded me about this passage. And so I wanted to just read to you from Romans chapter 8. And I'm just going to pick up it for the interest of time. Um, uh, actually, let's just, yeah, let's pick up verse 5. And we're going to read down through verse 8. And then we'll uh, come back and talk about this for a second. It says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal, carnal mind is enmity, meaning an enemy, against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So that's interesting. I want to pause it for one second. The carnal mind cannot be it to the subject of God. It's not to, it, it, when you're walking in the flesh, when you're being carnal, you are not being a subject to God, and the mind itself cannot be. All right? And so then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Now, of course, we're not talking about our physical flesh in the sense of do we live and breathe and can we cut ourselves and bleed. We're talking about living according to the lust of the flesh, the things that the pride of life and all those things like this, guys, just everything that comes out of the flesh, uh, you know, just instead of living according to God's will in our life, living according to our will or the world's will or the enemy's will. And so when we're talking about that, what's interesting about this, I was thinking about this passage and how it says here, there's a contrast. It says you can't be in the flesh, meaning live, you know, carnally, so on and so forth. And please God. And what was interesting about that, as I was thinking about that idea, as I, I, I was just I was milling that over my head, all of a sudden the Lord reminded me of when he himself taught us. Now, we always talk about it in light of mammon, but when he himself said, us, said to us that no man can serve two masters. He will either love the one and, or, and hate the other, or love the other and hate the one. So, and he goes, you cannot serve both God and mammon. Now, so we, whenever we talk about that passage, we always compare, you can't be after God and the riches of this world and, and the pleasures of this world and so and mammon of this world. But here's what really in all honesty it is. You can't serve two masters. You cannot serve two masters. Either you're going to be carnally minded after the flesh, or you're going to be spiritually minded after the things of God. And so when we think about it that way, just think about that. You cannot serve two masters. You cannot please your flesh all the time and be pleasing to God all the time. You cannot do the things that the flesh desires to do all the time and be pleasing to God and do the things that God wants you to do. You can't have it both ways. For lack of better terms, as the old saying says, you can't have your cake and eat it too. But in all honesty, if you would recognize, and if we would recognize, I should say more in particular, if we would recognize that to do it God's way, to be spiritually minded and to be pleasing to God, would actually bring about that life and that peace and that joy and everything like that that the Spirit of God can bring to us, the love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, meekness, all the things that really, in all honesty, our flesh desires, our true flesh, the, 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 the things in life that we say we want, if we did it God's way, we could have all those things. It may not look the same as the world because the world we know is after literally the carnality of it all. But we're after the spirituality of it all. We can get everything out of that. And so if we just focus on walking in the spirit, because we cannot serve two masters. You'll either love the one and hate the other. And that is true. When you're serving your flesh and you're doing the things that you know, you you, you, you really know, you know, if you have the spirit of God willing in you, you know you're not being pleasing to God. But on the same token, when you're pleasing God, you know those things that you think your flesh want, you no longer desire. But you do have the things in your flesh or what you actually really need. And so I think it's interesting to me in that contrast there. That, that It's just that, that amazing way that God works. So focus on walking in the Spirit and trust God to take care of the rest of it. So I hope this encourages you today. I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.